Hello YouTube, it's Gal from Casual Consoles and today we are doing something a little different. It's not horror related. It is a game that we all know called Would You Rather. And I've always liked this game because it brings out a lot of thought whenever it comes to like just certain questions and makes you think about yourself and, and maybe others depending on if you're playing it with somebody else. So let's go ahead and play this and um, if we like it we'll do it again sometime. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into this. First question. Would you rather be a centaur or a mermaid slash merman? Now ah, that is a rather odd one because both of them would probably be pretty cool centaurs they have you know their bow and arrows your half horse and a half human you can run really fast which would be cool and you'd have like a lot higher stamina stuff like that but being a mermaid or a merman that would be kind of cool too because you get to live under the ocean now it also depends on on what type of uh like mythology you're looking at with uh, the merman or merwoman. I think I would rather be a centaur because a centaur, centaurs are badass. They are. So uh, yeah, 53% agree with being a centaur. All right, would you rather be on Guts or be on Legends of the Hidden Temple? All right, for those that don't know, these are both uh, Nickelodeon back in the 90s, Nickelodeon shows and um, both of them look pretty cool. I would rather be on uh, Hidden Temple though, because you know you got the big obstacle course and stuff like that. So I would rather go with that one. And 73% agree. Okay, would you rather have comically large feet or have a comically oversized head? Well, my head's already pretty big as it is, and <laughs> um. That's kind of a tough one, because you'd be top-heavy if you had, like, comically-sized head, you know? And if you had big feet, like comic, like like a clown, then you'd trip over stuff fairly easy. And it'd be impossible to find shoes. So, uh, I think I'm gonna go with oversized head on this one. I didn't even see... Oh, I guess most people chose to have the larger feet. Let's see here. Would you rather fight Hulk Hogan or fight The Rock? So, that, that's a tough choice. Both, both are big men. Both have uh, a lot of experience in the ring. And, um, hmm. I'd say probably Hulk Hogan because he's, he's out of his prime. And, uh, The Rock is still a beast, so we're gonna go with Hulk Hogan. And 51% agree. Alright, would you rather live in a mansion in Beverly Hills or a penthouse in Manhattan? I would rather not live in any of those places, but that's not an option. So, I think... Maybe. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, I'm going to go with a mansion. Well, no. I'm going to go with uh, New York and Manhattan. Yeah. Oh, I guess uh, other people think differently. But it's still kind of a close percentage. All right. Would you rather live with Steve Harvey and co-host with Family Feud with him or live with Jeff Foxworthy and co-host Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader with him? That's a hard one as well. Both men are very funny. They are. <laughs> if you don't know who Jeff Foxworthy is, he is like a redneck comedian. He does a lot of redneck jokes. Uh, you might be a redneck. And of course, he hosts Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. He was on... Um, the Blue Collar Comedy Tour. If you haven't seen that, go watch it. It's awesome. But, um, I think, I think I'd have to go, yeah, I'd go with Jeff Foxworthy. Me and him have a lot more in common than, uh, than Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey would be a blast. 
for sure. But, uh, oh, I guess, I guess other people think differently. All right, so now what do we got? We got, would you rather show your friends and family your entire internet history or live near an active volcano? I would rather die. <laughs> I would, I would rather, um, that one's a hard one because, well, I guess I'd rather live next to an active volcano. I would. I would rather live next to an active volcano. Because who says it might be an active volcano, but there's countries out there that have active volcanoes and they do just fine. So we're going to go with that one. And most people agree with me on that one. Of course, a lot of people's probably got some really, really dark things in their search history. So, <laughs> all right. Would you rather watch The Sandlot or watch The Goonies? I would rather watch both of them be honest um but i'd have to go with my child one of my childhood favorites was would be the sandlot i guess the goonies people like the goonies more but that's okay because both movies are great they they were great 90s movies and it's they're they hold a place they hold a special place in my heart both of them do but uh, i definitely had to go with the sandlot all right, would you rather only read romantic novels or only read textbooks? Oh. Oh, that's a hard one. I don't really read. If you've watched my videos, you can kind of tell I don't really like reading. Um, more of a visual, visual type guy. So... I mean, I would rather read textbooks. At least they're informational, I suppose. It depends on kind of the textbook it is. There, there's a couple more variables I would need to make a, make a decision on here. Because if I had like a science or a space type textbook, I could read that all day long. I mean, but if it's a, like a math textbook, that would be kind of boring. But I would definitely go with textbooks. And most people agree with me. Most people are smart because we read textbooks. Would you rather have an incredibly nice car or own your own personal helicopter? That That's really... I have no use for a helicopter, so I'm going to go with a car. I mean, that one's, that one's not hard. That one's not hard at all. So most people agree with me on that one. Like, what would I do with a helicopter? And then I got to go and I got to, like, try to get my own airspace and stuff like that and contact towers and, and all that fun stuff. And I don't really want to do that. It's just kind of boring. I mean, I've been in a helicopter. It's nothing special. Uh, would you rather string your opponent along for the entire fight or crush them from the beginning? What does it mean by string your opponent along the entire fight? fight does that mean it's just like i'm taking my time beating on them it's just like bam all right bam bam instead of just a simple haymaker and it's over with i guess i guess i would rather just crush them from the beginning my fists most people agree by a lot that is a large margin all right would you rather have paparazzi following you around like a lady gaga or would you reveal a different secret about yourself in a weekly newspaper column? I would rather have paparazzi follow me around. There's not much of a news story. Yeah, most people agree too. I mean, my life, my life now is kind of boring anyway, except for doing YouTube. All I do really is YouTube and go grocery shopping, work out, and then come home and spend time with my fiance. That, that's that's my life. It's kind of boring, but at least I get to do this with you guys, and that makes it pretty nice. Boring, but nice and relaxed. Would you rather never be able to leave your native country or never be able to drive? That, I wouldn't drive. 
yeah, definitely must drive because I love to travel the world. And I've been to the Philippines three times. I've been to Germany. I've been to um, Kuwait, Iraq. Um, I never actually went on a trip to Japan, but I've been in Japan. I've been in South Korea, you know, during the different flights and stuff. But I can I could do without driving. Because once you go go with those Asian countries anyway, most of the time you're not going to be driving because of their transportation systems. It's so crowded. Like if if you go into the Philippines, if you're in Manila, you cannot go anywhere. It takes it takes forever because there's so many cars. It's so congested congested. It's you're better off walking, taking a bike, um, using other modes of transportation that they have. It's, it's just so much better that way. Most people agree as well. Oh, wait, no. Most people disagreed with me. All right. Would I be Slytherin or Gryffindor? I would be Gryffindor. There's no thought behind that. I would rather be Gryffindor. All right. Would you rather have Robin from Batman as a sidekick or have Jar Jar Binks from Star Wars as a sidekick? I would rather have Robin... Because Jar Jar Binks, he's kind of funny at first, but it would get kind of annoying hearing that, hearing the way he talks, you know, it would get annoying after a while. So I'm going to go with Robin. Plus, Robin's more useful, smart, acrobatic, you can go pick people's butts, all kinds of stuff like that. Most people agree. Would you rather poop rainbows or vomit rainbows? Uh, I would have to say poop rainbows because if I'm vomiting rainbows, why? Why would I be vomiting rainbows? I guess. I don't know. That's kind of an odd one. That one. That one is really odd. Maybe. Maybe I would rather vomit rainbows. I don't know. I don't vomit too often. I poop all the time, like most people. But. Well, we'll go with vomit, vomit rainbows because that way it doesn't last too long. I mean, it, it doesn't happen as often. Most people disagree. Most people disagree with that, but it's still kind of close. All right, would you rather have your stomach pulled out of your mouth or have your brain pulled out of your eye socket? That sounds absolutely horrible. It sounds like something like I'd play in one of my games. <laughs> Uh, that is a rough one. That is definitely a rough one. I have no idea. Have your stomach pulled out of your mouth. So they're going in and pulling your stomach out of your mouth. Or have your brain pulled out of your eye. Um, either way you're gonna die. But which one would be worse? Is, is the question. Which one would be worse. Um, I guess the stomach. I would rather have my stomach pulled out, maybe. I don't know. These both sound horrible. So, yeah, most people agree. All right. Would you rather be able to shower for two weeks but have uh, clean clothes daily or be able to shower daily for two weeks but unable to change your clothes being in the military it's, it's been something like this before um, it wasn't two weeks but uh, for like a week we were out in the field and uh, doing work we had to take baby wipe baths we had to take but we um, we had we had clothes that we can change into daily, so I, I would rather do that again. I've already experienced, like, I've already experienced it. So, unable to shower for two weeks, because there's there's ways around it. You're not showering, using the baby wipes. And you're still getting clean, not as clean as a shower, but you're still getting clean, clean enough. So I would, I would rather have the clean clothes, because it doesn't even matter. Like, if you could shower every day, and you don't have clean clothes, you're just putting that filth back on you. So if you're putting that filth back on you, your clothes are smelling, 
and um, you know it doesn't matter at that point if you shower or not because it's just all going back onto your body so I would do this one yeah most people agree as well all right would you rather live in the Westeros or live in Middle Earth this is a nerd question um, I don't really know what Westeros is, so if someone can tell me in the comments below, I'd appreciate it. I'm just going to go with Middle Earth, that's the only one that I really know. Most people agree by a large margin. And would you rather give a speech to a whole nation or have to sleep with tarantulas in your bed? I would rather give a speech to the whole nation, that's that's not even, that's not even a, tr not even close to even think about why would anyone want to sleep with tarantulas in their bed i mean one you could die and the other one you're not and that is the biggest difference i've seen yet and this one this is going to be our last one and would you rather have to sleep three hours every day or have to sleep 15 hours every day is it sad? I've done I've done the three hour one. Well, it was four hours, but I I would rather man one's a I would rather sleep three hours a day. Eventually, your body, if it doesn't shut down, it'll get used to it. Uh, insomniacs do it. If you sleep 15 hours, you're wasting so much time in your life. So, if you have three hours, you got more time to do stuff. And, I mean, it's still not healthy. Either one of these are not healthy. I would rather sleep three hours every day. Yeah, most people agree as well. I'm not, like, too huge on sleep anyway. So, that's fine with me. Well, there you go, everyone. That was a Would You Rather. Tell me... Tell me how you guys did down below. I, I would really like to know uh, what 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 your favorite one of these was, and uh, what you what you would have done. And if you want me to do another one of these, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Tell me, you know, hey, go ahead and do another one because that was interesting or whatever. But yeah, if you like the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and down below. Stay casual, and I'm out.